In the heart of Ningo Pram Pram in the Greater Accra region, a beacon of hope is emerging. This is Atlantic Life Sciences Limited, one of the two companies behind Ghana's vaccine manufacturing initiative, where science, innovation and determination is shaping the future of public health in Ghana. The facility, which sits on a 25-acre parcel of land, has received its first shipment of WHO certified already prepared anti-snick serum bulk supply and production is currently underway in its vaccine production unit. Processing the very first batch of trial vaccines for the certification of the Food and Drugs Authority. A serum and a vaccine are both important in healthcare delivery. Whereas vaccines are administered before the onset of a disease, a serum is given as an emergency or immediate treatment of a disease such as a sneak bite. In conducting a team of regulatory officials led by the National Vaccine Institute around, we observed that the production of these products is highly controlled and monitored from start to finish. This is the technology we are using for anti-snick serums. So we are having a technique of lyophilization also in place and that is very rare. Very few plants are having lyophilizer with them. So we are having lyophilizer with us. So you can see the quality of the product also. It should have moisture content less than 3% and this was our first batch. We are having a moisture content only 1%. So it is well within limit. Safety and quality assurance according to the scientists are paramount. According to them, the rigorous quality assurance protocols in place are to guarantee that every one of the products that comes out of the vaccine facility is safe and effective. My duty is to make sure what you label as a label claim, the percentage you given as a label claim is actually what is there before it goes to the market. Operating under the government's One District, One Factory, One D1F program, the $50 million project is hoping to introduce its first range of products onto the Ghanaian market as well as for the West African region soon. The trial batches for the, our national regulator has begun and once they are complete with all the trial batches, everything will be forwarded onto the FDA for their testing and then approval. Established this year by a Bill of Parliament, the National Vaccine Institute is mandated to coordinate and supervise research, development and manufacture vaccines in Ghana. As part of our mandate is also to facilitate the research and development of academia and industry. As Ghana forges ahead in her quest to be a known vaccine production hub, it comes along with hope self-reliance and better health care for the entire continent. It feels so good to be a Ghanaian at this time, knowing very well that Ghana has taken up this bold initiative to produce or manufacture her own vaccines for the well-being of her people and also for the rest of the continent. Reporting for GBC News, Gifty AJ, Pram Pram, Greater Accra Region.